Hey guys, I wanted to make this video on how to find the four digit pin code in your Ferrari. And this applies to Ferrari 360s, the 355, the 550, the 575, and I think the 470, uh, 456. Um, the reason why you need this pin code is to add more fobs to your car, key fobs to your car. And this, uh, uh, you will see that it's not easy, okay? Uh, there's a lot of information online and this video is just meant to Put everything together uh, for you to understand all the locations all the different options that you have when you're trying to add fobs to your ferrari uh, first place will be to actually find it perhaps in your immobilizer unit itself and the immobilizer unit in your ferrari is going to be located in different places it might be under the passenger seat on the floor behind the driver's seat just look in our website for pictures and instructions on how to find it and remove it that way it'll be easy for you um, these control units, if you get lucky, you may find that it has a sticker with a four uh, digit number. And this one doesn't have it. But if you find it, then that's the one, the pin code for your Ferrari that we can use to put the car into learning mode to add more fobs to it. Um, if you don't find it in your immobilizer control unit, then the next place might be in the car's owner's manual. I've seen it there with Ferrari letterhead and four numbers on it saying learning mode. That's another place. Perhaps it might be in your original keychain on a metal plaque. Four numbers, I've seen it there too. If you don't find it there, then another option would be to call the dealership. And I didn't go into much detail when I talked to Sam Crack um, about this uh, for his Ferrari 360. But what happens is that some dealerships may be friendly enough to give this information to you free if you prove ownership, or you may have to pay for it up to like $700. To get this 48 code that's why i encourage people to call like five or six different dealers until you find one that is friendly enough that's willing to give it to you for free um, if they don't have it what they're going to encourage you is that you buy a new set of fobs and a new set of fobs one red and two black costs about a thousand dollars that's really if you have that that's really no use to you and it has to do with how ferrari programs key fobs to the car i have a separate video on that that you have to watch that explains that in more detail um, so if you don't have your original learning uh, learning code for your Ferrari, then what they're gonna say is that they're gonna, you're gonna need to buy new immobilizer set that costs about six to seven thousand um, dollars. So that's another crazy option that's out there um, for you to be able to add fobs to your Ferrari. Um, another option which becomes easier would be if you have your original red fob, you can actually send it to us and we can extract it from the memory of the red fob. Be careful because some people would have had a black fob that on the black ones the the pink code does not exist and they took this black fob and they put red covers on it red plastic covers on it and that's still you know um, we're gonna find out if you have the red master fob once we get it here we'll find that out for you but the pink code will be located in a red fob lastly if you send us your immobilizer we can extract it from the microprocessor inside give it to you to use to program key fobs or take advantage that the unit is here and we can do the programming uh, for you. We can do up to three fobs to your car, one red and two black uh, remotes. Uh, if you want to bypass the mobilizer system altogether so that the car works without remotes, that's completely possible and we can do that for you. And we have, again, separate section on the website for that. Uh, but we always encourage that if you're gonna bypass the system that your remotes still work so you can open and close the doors for your convenience. Please, if you have any questions, write them below and share this video with Ferrari Chat, your Ferrari friends and community because I think it's very helpful as people begin to buy these vehicles and need to add fobs to their car to have that peace of mind that the, the car is going to start every single time and they can you know, let somebody else borrow it without any drama. Thanks so much and have a great day.